Welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. And we're still back here in Gouda Springs, Kansas, where we're doing a more advanced repair on some titanium. And as you can see, this looks like a wheelchair, and it is a wheelchair. This is a competitive wheelchair. And a lot of times a wheelchair is made of titanium because of its strength to weight ratio, which means it's pretty tough. Uh, strength to weight ratio also means that you can actually build this out of thinner material which will actually make it lighter than doing it in aluminum. And this particular frame is made of what's called a three, two and a half type titanium. And I'm going to show you the, the piece that broke off. And as I inspected it, it looked like the weld was pretty good. It just didn't penetrate as much as it should have. Plus this is uh, probably seeing quite a bit of abuse. So anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to clean it up put this bracket back on and we're going to make fillet welds and we're going to use the same setup that we had in the previous segment and that setup is actually going to have argon purging the inside of the tube Now, remember in our earlier segment we had this little device very low cost unit but it diffuses the gas very nicely so never do you want to just take your argon gas back and put it inside and tape it off. It just creates too much turbulence. So we're going to go ahead, put this in, we'll insert it in and tape it off. And you know, a lot of times I use paper tape, but I also use HVAC tape and it's a, it's a pretty versatile type of tape, pretty inexpensive as well. So we're all set up. What I need to do is clamp this down, let it purge a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get my safety gear on and then we're going to get started welding. Okay, a little pre perch there. I'm just tack welding this to hold it in position and backing off on the amps, holding the torch in place. Letting the post flow argon hit it for 10 seconds. And when I hear it shut off, I'll reposition. Okay, I heard it reshut shut off. All right. In the pre flow again, got argon on there. And dabbing, adding filler, welding very nicely, very nicely. And I'm getting out of position a little bit, so I'm going to fade out and stop. Okay, I'm just uh, terminating this weld, and I want to make sure that I've added enough filler at the end, because that's where the cracks usually typically like to propagate. So I'm adding a little extra, rolling the edge here, and got it done. Now, just pulling my rod out, adding, decreasing my amperage, and letting the argon flow. Okay, we're probably going to finish up this one side of the bracket. Let me just cool down. I like to give it a few minutes in between welds. And I'm adding filler, keeping a good angle on the torch. And I get a little bit out of position here, so I'm stopping just for a minute. Repositioning. I'm going to make sure that I've penetrated both sides very well. Okay. 
Alright, I finished that weld. Nice little wrap around. Holding the origami in place for 10 seconds. And I want to look at it, see if I want to do anything else to it. Actually, I think I do. I'm going to put a secondary weld on there. I just think that uh, the crack started from one edge here, so I just want to put a little extra reinforcement. Okay, this is uh, the last weld on the bracket. Yeah, we can see where it was cracked before. We're consuming that portion. Doing a little deeper penetration on this one. Okay, so I'm out of position right now, so anytime you get out of position, just stop and let the argon cool. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Initiate the arc, a little pre-flow of argon. Same thing, I'm adding some filler. It's holding up pretty good. Got a few contaminants in there, not, not bad at all. Good positioning. Okay, I'm getting out of position, so now I'm going to back off. And everything's cherry red right now, but because I got the argon flowing, I feel pretty comfortable that the weld is good. Okay, now I'm in the final phase of this, just a little wraparound touch-up, and just want to make sure that I get enough, enough filler on the tube portion. Now, I'm using probably 50 amps, 60 amps on this, so it's going to get hotter quicker. And this is about the maximum you're going to want to weld with this setup. You know, this wheelchair is owned by a person by the name of Wayne Romero, and he's using his, his old wheelchair right now. So what we're going to do is finish this up, clean it up for him, and deliver it to his house this evening. Thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.